Thank you so much. This is Herman, uh, your boy. Uh, this is the Live Chat TV. Don't forget to subscribe. If you've not subscribed yet to my channel, just click the bell button so that you can be notified whenever I upload any video. I normally upload on Wednesdays and Sundays, so keep it locked. Thank you. Take a break as you carry on with life uh, challenges. Uh, adjust your mindset during the corona virus pandemic season. It's a disaster and uh, we need to go by it. Things are not okay. The entire world is battling with this unseen enemy. Economy has deteriorated. Everything is at standstill. Businesses have closed down. Schools have closed down. It's a big challenge. But don't get worried because if you only understand the advantages of all this scenario of the coronavirus, then you'll be smiling and not crying. Yes, currently the situation is this worse, but what if we wake up tomorrow, there is no corona again? What will, be happen? What, what, what will happen? I understand there are those that the news will catch them unaware, but there are those that will be advantaged to celebrate and say, yeah, no more corona, and you start hitting the road, making good businesses, making good connections, networks, and so many other things. So, there are things that you need to keep doing during this pandemic season. And uh, one of the things that you need to keep doing is communicating. Keep communicating, whether it's through your Facebook page, whether it's through your Instagram page, whether it's through your Twitter handles, whether it's through your emails. Make sure you keep touch with your connections. Don't lose touch. If are your clients, if your customers, if are your business partners, your friends, your community, still, even though we are all in quarantine, but still touch, keep touching the bears. Situation whereby you need to take an opportunity and take advantage of, for example, coronavirus, coronavirus is, a, is a problem. But it being a problem, there are people who are trying to amplify the situation and making a kill taking advantage of the situation of Corona, uh, taking advantages of people in need of masks. Others go make things that are not quality, certified to be used. But because it's Corona, everybody needs to put on a mask. People are rushing to make masks. People are rushing to distribute toilet papers. People are rushing to distribute food and not to the uh, vulnerable communities. I don't know what, what that can take pictures. It's, very dangerous for us to do that. It's not the way we're supposed to live. We're supposed to be asking ourselves, taking the measures, being careful of mitigations on how we can overcome these challenges, but not to amplify it by making business that is going to affect the third party. There are those authorities, for example, the World Health Organization, uh, for example, the doctors that are around your country or your vicinity. These are the people that are supposed to take directions and to give directions on to where and how the corona status is. But you find out that majority of the people now are taking advantage of the corona. Everyone is creating his own story. Every blogger is taking his own notes. Every YouTuber is taking his own stories and put on YouTube. So once you Google about corona, you'll find so many theories and things that are not worth to be communicated to people. Innocent lives, if innocent people are being misled, I don't know, some people are posting that although oh, coronavirus uh, medicine has been found in which country, I don't know when we do this and that. It's not good because there is an innocent soul somewhere trying to look for that solution. So once you post or once you, uh, you amplify the, the, the situation in a negative way, it will end up affecting someone else. So please don't do that. Dude, our marketing strategies change. I understand there are those who are doing businesses, there are those who are having uh, hotels, cyber cafes, teachers, schools. So, do you want to tell adopt a new culture of living or what is not happening? For me, I'd say yes, probably yes, we need to change our way of marketing, we need to change the way we are 
packaged need to change and adjust to be on the positive side and to be on the safe side in such pandemic or in such uh, outbreaks because I understand this is one that caught the entire world unaware but coming forth I'm very uh, I'm very sure that nothing will come and distract the world the way Corona has done. This has been the first one and it probably will be the last one because mitigation measures will be put in place with various companies, various stakeholders, various business people and various investors now have tried to think outside their box. Kwamba, fine, Corona had come and it has done this and this and this and this loss. So what next? Suppose something else like this comes, what should we do? Change is inevitable. So I'll equip you with eight skills that will help you uh, outshine the pandemic of coronavirus. So our, our place of work are likely to change. Uh, many companies are likely to adjust and change the routine of how the jobs were done previously before the corona. So here are the eight skills that use this pandemic period to equip yourself with so that once the corona is over, you'll be at par with your employer before he outshines you. Number one, adaptability and flexibility. Most of the companies in the world now will go out to source for workers who are quick in adapting and are flexible to situations of such. Do you understand? During this pandemic, many, many people lost their jobs and many, many people were affected with the fact that they had to work from home. Probably uh, the tools of working from home, maybe you don't have, maybe you are an HR somewhere, you've been given the task to work from home, you don't have internet, you don't have a machine at home, you see. So an employer taking you back to that position, he will think twice because maybe there is a junior officer in your company who has all those tools. So suppose he was the one given that position, probably he could work better than you. So you fail the company during the, 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 during the pandemic. Take serveness. Take serveness, this goes to the IT expert and uh, the use of social media and the platforms that we are using. Nowadays, you've just seen during this pandemic era, everyone, every person is online, everyone is using internet, everyone is now using the Facebook, the Google, the YouTube, the, 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 the many Instagram and so, other, so many other platforms. So if you're in a company whereby you're not conversant with these things uh, on social media and uh, internet, then you are at an advantaged position because majority of the companies will recruit and will value those who can amplify, those who can take the, 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 the center stage of the internet side or the, the social media side because it has been proved and you've seen everyone going out talking to the community, things have been communicated through social media. So if you don't have the technical knowledge on how you can take a shot or you can capture a video of your boss in that quarantine season in an office or doing at home, and how you can pass messages to your WhatsApp group to the fellows in your company, it will be a disadvantage to many of you. So the company will equip itself by such people to work for them because now we are moving to a more technical world in future. Creativity and innovation will play number three, which is very critical because if you're not creative, if you're not innovative, majority of the employers will not need your services. Data literacy, this is so, so, so essential because a majority of the companies have been affected because they lacked, even, the, even some countries were affected because they lacked information, they lacked data of how many people they have in a certain region, how many people they have in a certain household, uh, the entire population, uh, if they want to distribute, let's say, medical kits, they don't know the population that is there, if they want to donate, maybe they leave food, they don't know the actual figures of people who are living in a certain position.
location or certain area or certain location so this thing has affected so many people so if you can be that person who can have a formula on how on how you can uh, put data together on a certain community or a certain company or a certain group of people it will be of your advantage because companies will run for you will run towards your direction the government will come towards your direction the doctors the chief the village elders will come towards your direction because they know once they have you their data will be collected and put in a safe place whereby once it's needed it will be easier to be reached in skills digital and coding skills comes to number five this is where uh, the, the youth or the employees should be equipped with the knowledge of maybe web designing, IT knowledge, and uh, so many other skills that deals with IT. So everything now is going digital. So for you to access a certain information, you need to go to the internet, through Google, through email accounts, and so many other things. Now that people are working from home, you can imagine how to, through maybe, uh, through his uh, WhatsApp group, that you open the company now to, to, to mail merge to merge all those connections needs somebody who is knowledgeable so you can take this pandemic era open pandemic season as an advantage that you can learn and equip yourself with such things that the company can value your services leadership cannot be left out because everything that happened if it was not for a good and quick responsive and a good systems of leadership they've been able curb the pandemic spread of this COVID-19 virus. So leadership is very essential so you can equip yourself with leadership skills so that you can be of advantage to your employer. Yes. Or you can call it emotional intelligence. Many, many, many of the people around the world have been affected uh, emotionally because of the coronavirus. For example, one of your employees or one of your workmen has been affected with the, with the corona. You can see that chain, how many people have gone through him, how many people he has, he has affected, how many uh, have got in touch with him. So once that, uh, we all need to commit ourselves into learning. So we need to commit ourselves into lifetime learning. When I say lifetime learning, take advantage nowadays because we are all provided with the internet and uh, we have uh, the Google, we have the platform where we can read, it will cost you less. You don't need to have a lot of money like before. You can join a university while seated at the comfort of your house. So as much as you are in quarantine, use it positively. So you can engage, you can enroll in a particular course, get through it so that once people resume to their normal life after the corona, virus you'd be advantaged because you've been equipped so this is not an error for us to sit and wait and watch and see things happening this is an error of equipping yourself keep yourself learning every day every day every day because it is at your doorstep just a click of a button you can do something good thank you so much continue subscribe to my channel comment like and share i'll be so happy uh, to know and understand the impact of this video and how best it has impacted in your life and please don't forget to share it so that it can reach as many youth as possible because the world population 75% are the youth so we are the engineers, we are the energy, we are the motivation, we are the strong part of this economic cost. So let us wake up and let's push for the economy generation for our respective countries, respective communities and respective families so that we can put our food on the table to our families and 